Hi guys, this is Charles, I'm one of the surgeons at South Pole, and uh, today we are live streaming just a quick case, which is an electric chemotherapy on a cat with a nasal spinal cell pulse, and you can see we've got this on, this lesion here at the tip of the nose with all the crusting um, and stuff, and so, look, I... I, you know, surgery would be great, but this is much too big to be able to be um, treated surgically. So, um, electric chemotherapy offers a great option for these guys. Um, electric chemotherapy, I think, is probably more successful than surgery for the treatment of nasal spinal cell pulse in the past. So, um, anyway, can I get a gauze slot, please? So, what we've done is we've given an intravenous dose of bleomycin, and bleomycin, because of the polarity of the molecule, cannot penetrate into the cancer cells. And so um, the, the stroma, or the parenchyma of the cancer, is bathed in bleomycin, but it can't penetrate into the cells. And so what we do is we shock the tumor um, with this little needle probe um, that, that delivers a dose of um, about 800 volts per centimeter. Um, and what that does is it causes electroporation, which means that the cells open up and allow the chemo to come in. And so you will see a twitch. It's not that you can feel it, but, um, uh, but it does cause direct muscle stimulation. And so I put the needle into the tumor like this, and then I deliver the, the shock. And you can see that we did get a little bit of a twitch there. And I go all the way around the outside, um, circumferentially first, and then um, I'll come into the middle of the tumor. And the reason why we've got this mouth gag in the cat's mouth is um, to keep it from biting its tongue because we have had that happen before, just because we're directly stimulating the mass of our muscle. So coming around all the way around the outside here. So this is basically getting our cervical margin around the outside. And what will basically happen is that the tumor will just vaporize over the next uh, month or so. And we may have to repeat it in a month. if it hasn't completely disappeared. And look, I would not be surprised if this treatment is not cured, um, but I have them, had them certainly improve significantly. If we had a smaller lesion, I would be more confident that it would be cured. Um, so it's appropriate for nasal planum squamous cell carcinomas in cats. You can see that the the tumor now has become very pale, pale, and that's because the electric shock causes vasoconstriction, and that also holds the chemotherapy in the area for longer. Let's just do a couple of other treatments around the outside. So electric chemotherapy is, is actually quite amazing. It's almost too good to be true, um, the way that it works. And if I remember, I'll try to give you um, some videos later on when they come in for rechecks. And that's pretty much it. So just come back over. Um, And I'll see if I can get a better view here. So looking up close, so that's that nasty tumor there and we've treated it. Um, hopefully that's gonna disappear over the next few weeks. I'll come over here to the electric chemotherapy machine. This is it here. And if we look at those pulses, what it does is it delivers, so that's 500 volts, which is 800 volts per centimeter. So those uh, needles are about five eighths of a centimeter apart. Um, and it delivers these eight pulses within about 300 milliseconds. 
um, and it does that every time you push that pedal. That's the that's what it's delivering. So, anyway, hope you find that interesting. If you have any questions, please uh, post them on the message board afterward. And um, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. And I'll figure out how I can.